Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a super exciting video for you guys. It's going to be a haul video and it's not just any haul video, it's going to be my IMATS haul. Um, I did get to attend IMAT Sydney, um, obviously in Sydney where I live, and I had such an amazing day guys. Like the day before I did have my very last university exam for the year, so hooray for that. Um, and I got to kind of celebrate by going to IMATS and I was so happy, so ridiculously happy. Can you hear my sheep? <laughs> so I did get to IMATS at like nine o'clock on the dot. So I did see that enormous line and I was in that enormous line, um, but that's okay. Um, once you actually got through and your ticket scanned and stuff, there was an opportunity for you to pick up one of these giant bags that basically comes empty with just a booklet about IMATS. The very first store that I went to on the day was Sugar Pill. Um, the reason why I went to Sugar Pill first was because they were doing a worldwide release of a lipstick that day and it was only available at IMAT, so I wouldn't be able to source this online, so I knew that I had to get it. Um, my friend Rebecca was showing me on the bus on the way to IMAT, and I was just like, girl, I need that lipstick, and she was like, I know, I need it too. So we both knew that Sugar Pill was our first stop. So at Sugar Pill, I did buy two items. I did buy the Pretty Poison lip color in the shade Nurse. They also had another one, I think it was in the shade Girl or something like that. That was a bright pink, like kind of like what I'm wearing now. Um, looking back, I wish I bought it, but at the same time, I can always get it on its release date online. Um, but for now, one is good enough, I guess. I really wish I bought the other one. I'm actually quite annoyed that I didn't buy the other one now. But anyway, this is what it looks like. It's just a little pill and it's in the shade Nurse and it's just a red lipstick. Like if I'm gonna buy any lipstick, it's gonna be a red lipstick, even though I'm wearing a bright pink one now. <laughs> I wish I bought it, oh well. Um, I might film a first impressions on this, but I don't really know how to film the first impressions on a lip product yet. I don't know, I'll work it out. But anyway, Sugar Pill, if you're not familiar, it is vegan and also cruelty free. Um, the girls that dressed up, like the cashiers and the sales assistants, those girls just dressed up exceptionally well like so cute so adorable if i can find a picture on instagram then i'll include it here but seriously they were just dressed so cute one girl even had like little cat ears i was obsessed so the other thing that i did purchase from sugar pill was a pigment um this one is called or a loose eyeshadow apparently it's called this is their packaging as well how cute are these things seriously this is in the shade penelope and it's seriously the most go gorgeous 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 like coppery color ever like can we just take it a second to appreciate that seriously <laughs> i cannot wait to use that seriously it's gorgeous and i'll try and remember the prices for you guys i do think that the loose eyeshadows were 25 dollars at imax and the lipstick was 28 dollars at imax my next stop was pm studios and I have shopped at the PM Studio freestanding store in Waterloo, Sydney before, um, but I definitely wanted to pick up a few bargains because they did have very, very good deals. Um, in my iMats tag, I did mention that I wanted the Kogan Doe Foundation, the Cover Effects Cover Drops, and the Vizart palettes. I didn't pick up the Vizart palettes because they weren't discounted, like, at all. Like, I bought some a few maybe like a month or two months ago from the freestanding store, and they were $90 each. And at iMats, they were 95 bucks what like did they do a price increase I don't know but I just kind of felt like it was still very very expensive for what it was so I didn't pick up any Vizart palettes unfortunately I'm sure that I'll pick up some online down the line but for now no Vizart palettes for me <laughs> but I did pick up a few things the first one being the face atelier Ultra Foundation Pro. Um, I bought this one in the shade, I believe it's 08 Caramel, and I just wanted this as more of a mixing foundation for when I'm super, super fake tanned. And that foundation was $30. I do have my little receipt here. I also got the Kogan Doe Aqua Foundation, and I bought mine in the shade 143, which I think is the darkest shade in the line, which is quite a shame because obviously I'm not the darkest person in the world. Um, but this one was $43 down from like 62. So that's great. I was very, very happy with that deal. I also got the Cover Effects Custom Cover Drops. I bought mine in the shade N40. I was not expecting to get this shade at all. I was expecting to get maybe G40 or 
um, maybe G30, but I swatched N40 and it was actually quite a good match. I want to do a first impressions on this, but I'm not really too sure how I'm going to do it, only because they do recommend that you use it as a mixer, not by itself. So I don't know. I'll have to work that one out, but that's what the bottle looks like. And I'm so, so excited. Um, that one retailed at IMAT for $38, which was actually a very, very good bargain in my eyes because I think at Sephora, this retails for like 52 bucks or $55. So very good deal. So I did get two Makeup Forever Artist eyeshadows. I got the shade ME612, which is this one here. It's more of a kind of pink taupey shade, which was just amazing swatched. And then I also got the shade ME302, which is just a gorgeous, like, black, grey, just kind of very, very unique shade. And I was obsessed with this colour on the day. I wanted everything and anything in this shade. What was wrong with me? I don't know. And those retailed for $17 each, which was quite good because in Sephora, those are retailed for, I think, $27. $26 or $27, something like that. So I felt like that was a very, very good bargain. And then the very last thing that I picked up from PM Studios, because I did still want to pick up a palette, um, because I've been to the PM Studio freestanding store, I kind of knew a few things that they did have. And this was one palette that I did eye out when I was buying the Vizart palette. Um, this one is called, or by the brand, Numeric Proof Paris HD or something. I don't know. That's what it looks like. Um, and this is what the palette looks like. It's a, it's an all matte palette and I think they've only got one palette available at least in Australia. Um, this one was down to $62 which I thought was an absolute bargain considering this was $90 in the store. Um, so that's why I did pick up this one over the Vizart one. So yeah, I just felt like I'll get a lot of use out of this palette. It is all matte and they did swatch amazingly. So the next place that I went was Scotty's Makeup Store. Um, I did only pick up one thing from there, but it was the Ben Nye Neutral Set Powder. I wanted this for baking because my friend Rebecca, she was like, get it, it's only like 12 bucks, just do it. So I was like, okay, it's just $12, I'll do it. Did it, haven't tried it yet, but I'll definitely update you guys on how that goes for baking. Okay, so the next place that I went to was Makeup Store, yay. Um, I did only get one thing from Makeup Store and then they did give a sharpener and a nail file for free which was quite nice of them. It says Makeup Store on the nail file which is really really nice. I would definitely get a lot of use out of that because you can never have too many nail files like let's be real. And they also gave a sharpener which is really really nice. Um, I do prefer my NARS one but I would definitely give this one a go because it was free. So yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Makeup Store. And then in addition to that, I also did get the Makeup Store High Tech Highlighter in the shade Sun Dust. I swatched this on my hand and I was like, oh my God, yes, I need this in my life. It's like yellow, but when it's actually on your skin and you've got a tan, woo, it literally looks like you're glowing from within. It's so absolutely gorgeous. I'm so, so happy that I picked it up. It was like $12.80. $12.80 down from like I think $38 or something. That's a great bargain in my opinion. So the next place that I did go on the day was Jeffree Star. Oh my goodness, the line for Jeffree Star was just freakishly long. Like I waited in line for almost an hour. It was like my second to last place that I went. Um, but I did pick up three liquid lipsticks. I did want to get more, but they were $24 each, which personally I found was quite a lot considering I've never tried the formula before. If I've tried the formula and it's good, I'll definitely buy more. Um, but for the time being, I feel like for $24 a pop, they are quite expensive, especially if I don't know if I'm going to like them or if I'm going to have an allergic reaction or just anything like that. So I did pick up three. I picked up the shade Red Rum, which is this one here. The shade Celebrity Skin, which Rebecca told me I needed to get. So I was like, okay. And then Androgyny, which I didn't really want to get, but everyone's been raving about it. So I was like, I'm stupid to not buy it if I have the opportunity to. Um, so yeah. And Androgen... Androgyny, oh my god, Androgyny is limited edition, that's why it's got the white cap opposed to the hot pink cap. Um, I also did get to see Jeffree Star, I wasn't, I didn't take a photo with him or anything like that, but I did see him. Um, his skin's so perfect guys, like so perfect, so jealous. So the very last place that I went to was Eye Candy, can we just take a minute to appreciate this leaflet? Like seriously, look at that. Like, seriously, it sold me. This is their details, if you can see that at all. 
I did go a little bit crazy at eye candy. I spent a lot more than what I kind of expected to. Um, I met a girl in the line for Jeffree Star, actually. Her name's Stacey. Hi, Stacey, if you're watching. Um, and she, I bumped into her again after we got our lipsticks and we kind of just like departed. Um, and she, and like, she ended up having like this glitter liner on her eyelids. And I was like, you did not have that on before, girlfriend. What is on your eyes? She told me she went to eye candy um, and they were doing a deal six for $50, like six little glitters for $50. Um, and I was like, oh yeah, that's a good deal. So I waddled over to eye candy and I was obsessed. I didn't end up getting six. I ended up getting 10, but I did get 10 with the liquid for 75 bucks, which I didn't think was all too expensive. Um, looking back, I do kind of wish that I got two sets of six so I could have gotten two liquids um, and then I would have just paid a hundred dollars so an extra 25 bucks would have gotten another two and liquid I don't know but anyway <laughs> it does come with a brush of um, how you apply it to your eye obviously um, and then I just bought ten glitters which is great so I did get the shade Sour Berry and this is a fine milled powder um, they've got fine super fine and then I think like a duo chrome or something like that Anyway, so this one is in the shade Sour Berry. It's a very, very green shade. Um, perfect for the Christmas time, I find. Um, so I cannot wait to use that one again. Or use it on myself. The next shade is the shade Sugar Cane. And that's what it looks like on the back. This one's really, really gorgeous. It's like two-tone glitter, like brown and gold glitters in it. So then I also got the shade Sugar Plum. This one was such a coincidence in me getting. Um, I, I asked the lady at checkout which one she recommended because I was stuck on nine. Um, and she recommended this one to me. Um, she reached in her bag, she got it. And then I was like, oh, can you just swatch it on my hand? Because you need the sugar liquid to swatch. And she was like, yeah, okay, I'll go grab it. And she actually took it off the display even though she had one left. So it was kind of like fate with this one. The next one that I got is like a super, super bright purple. Um, and this one is in the shade Sweet Tart. So gorgeous. Cannot wait to use that one. I also got a red. This one is in the shade Candy Apple. And this is a super fine um, pigment. Not pigment, but glitter. I also got the shade Twizzle Stick, which is like a blue-green hybrid, which I thought was so gorgeous. I also got this one in the shade Jelly Bean, which is like a super, super thin glitter. And if you put it over a black base, it looks different to if you used it on its own. So pretty, the ladies put this on my hand and I was obsessed with it as well. I also got the shade Tutti Fruity, which is just like a pinky shade. And I'm obsessed with this one. I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed with all these, like, let's be real. Who is not obsessed with glitter? Seriously. Then I also picked up the shade Taffy, which is more of a like rose goldy shade. And then I also got Shock Tart, which is a blue shade. Seriously, look how gorgeous that one is as well. I really want to film my first impressions of these, but I'm not too sure how it's going to go down. Um, so yeah, I'm not really too sure, but I really want to do it. Okay, guys, so that's all the products I have purchased from iMats. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps me out so much. You guys have no idea. And yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.